Hey everybody, Mr. Ross here with your full banana update for everybody that came over from the link or is just here because they subscribed to the channel. Uh, we are going to take a look at the bananas in full here in just a second and start talking about where we are going from here in terms of where the videos are going to lead us in the fall. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a closer look at the bananas here in just a second. And uh, there's actually a bunch of new bananas that we are going to look at as well before we start taking them down and wintering them in later videos. So uh, let's take a closer look. I'm going to give you guys a look up the banana tree here. And then we're just going to walk right around here before these get taken down. We are going to check out just how tall they are against the end of my house. You can see that they go all the way up. And if you look right back there, you can see that there is actually one of the leaves up on the gutter. Uh, it's about 20 feet tall this year, and that's fantastic. And as we pan down and look at it, you can see that there are a ton of trunks in here now. There are a lot of banana trees in here now, and I'm actually going to have to thin them out. So that is something that we are going to take a look at in the next video in order to uh, see how we close up the garden for the bananas in the fall. So for right now, you can see how they've filled in, and soon we're going to take a look at just how we take them back and prepare them to overwinter here in a much colder climate than bananas usually grow. You can also see here that I have put bananas all across the end of my deck. Uh, this is very different from the last time that you guys joined me for the garden here. We had a bunch of different plants here, uh, but I wanted to move some of the bananas over here. Also, there was a little bit of an issue with the plants uh, around my fence. So if you look over along the fence there, you can see that there are no longer grasses there. Um, I ended up having to take those out because of an issue with uh, someone using herbicide in a way that they shouldn't have. So um, that's why there is a pretty big difference in what you are seeing here uh, this year. So we're going to take a look at how we are going to take care of all of these bananas because it's a lot of bananas. Now remember guys, these don't fruit in this climate and part of the reason is because they do die back every year and have to regrow so they never get established enough and tall enough to uh, really start generating fruit. If we look next to the banana here, you can see a cold hardy hibiscus that I had. Uh, we looked at this and this is really, really not doing well. Um, it seems to have been blighted this year. I'm not exactly sure what happened. I couldn't quite figure it out. I tried to look it up, uh, but that looks like it is not going to be there anymore. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and bring the bananas across to the end of the deck. So in the springtime, uh, we'll go ahead and, and make a video about splitting off the bananas and just how we do that as well. So you'll get to see the other end of this uh, after we winter and they start growing again. You'll get to see how we can spread them out and how I created this row uh, along my deck. All right, well, that's been your full banana update. The next video is going to be starting to close out beds and taking these down and taking a look at what they look like before we mulch them in and get the beds closed up. So uh, I will see you guys next time on this old garden and uh, have a great day.